Many people are protesting the actions of some police officers. Others feel law enforcement needs more support than ever. A national Facebook campaign is calling attention to all officers, and a Southeast Texas family is taking part by shining a blue light on their fallen loved one. It serves as a reminder that his light's never going to go out with his memory. It's been more than three years since someone intentionally struck Beaumont police officer Brian Hebert's patrol car, killing him. I don't know. Uh, it's just, I miss him. Today, this blue light is keeping his memory alive. Hebert's family and people all over the country are putting them outside their homes this first week of January to support law enforcement. I think it's an awesome thing to do to, in support of our officers. I mean, who knows how they feel too, riding around and, and night and see all the blue lights on or during the day and see them. That has, to, that has to be a good feeling for them too to know that the people are behind them. Letting officers know they're respected and understood, something the Hebert's feel is important in a time when they say people lack respect for authority. Nobody has any respect for anybody and it all starts when they're little and in the home and you have to have respect for authority and regardless what authority that is. Sergeant Rob Flores of the Beaumont Police Department says while officers are authorities, they're people too. We're humans trying to do a very difficult job. We need the support of the community to be uh, effective at doing our job. So it is very hurtful whenever you have people who, who are, are extremely critical, uh, especially when you consider that they probably have not a single idea about what it is to, to be a police officer what it means to do our job and the actual dangers that we face every day. Danger that took the life of Holly Hebert's brother. It's why she says she shines the blue light. It's a thank you to officers who still protect and serve. You know, the ones who are fallen, they gave the ultimate sacrifice. And the ones who still are serving, they know every day that they leave for work, that they may give that sacrifice too. A sacrifice Brian Hebert's mother respects more than anything. I'm leaving mine up. Brian's birthday's on the 15th of this month, so I plan on just leaving my blue porch light on and my light in my window till it burns out. A small light in their window to remember someone who was a big light in their lives. In Nederland, Jessica Crawford, KFDM 6 News. The Blue Light Project asked that people put a blue light on their porch to support fallen officers until January 7th. The Hebert's plan to keep their light on until it burns out.